Hi, my name is Akanksha Upadhyay and I am your English instructor. In today's class, we will be solving the grammar portion of Unit 10, which is interpreting graph, charts and diagrams. So let's begin. Today we're going to learn how to write a commentary. A commentary is an opinion or explanation about an event. So today we're going to write a commentary on sports. The meaning is opinion or explanation about an event. While writing a commentary, we'll keep five things in our minds. The first one is to prepare. Next is the details. So we need to mention every details. Next, we need to tell people what's happening exactly. To make it real and interesting, we need to find our commentary style. And finally, we need to paint a bigger picture to the viewers or the readers because we are writing a text commentary. So we are focusing on the people who are going to read our text. So we need to paint the reader with a bigger picture. We've listed the five points, but now what actually to mention or to involve or to include under these headings? So we'll go through them one by one. To prepare. So preparation is the key. Now there might be a question. Commentary is usually live, so it's always live. So how do we prepare? We won't have time to prepare or research since it's live. We already need to have information about the basic details about the event. So always, so before writing a commentary, never have a blank mind. You should always have prior knowledge. Next is the detail. Make sure your audience feel like they are there. Give as much details as possible. Let the audience feel the atmosphere and visualize the situation there. Also remember, scores can be easily found anywhere. So try, you need to mention the scores as well, but don't focus on scores. In fact, remember that scores can be found easily, but not everyone can experience the match. So what you need to do is help your readers experience the match through your writing, through your text commentary. Now, what details can be mentioned or what details can be included? The small details such as how strong the wind is or how hot the weather is. Also, you can mention that the crowd is singing. So these are the details you can include in this section. So make it as simple and natural as possible. Also, don't forget to Remind the remaining time. Now you need to tell people what's happening. So you might think you've been doing that in the details section. But here, telling what is happening means the explanation about event that we are writing about. So this is more of match oriented. Next, you need to find your commentary style. So for this, you need to practice it. The formula for this is to be yourself. If you are humorous, use it to make your commentary more fun and interesting. And if you are good at stats, like remembering, if you are good at the stat memory, remembering the scores, the points, use it to make your commentary more knowledge, more interesting and exciting and full of facts and details related to the match. So find your style and write according to that. Do not try to copy what others write. And then you need to paint readers a bigger picture. Some people might have kept your commentary in the top of their priority list, so make them feel worth it by stating why this match is so important. So remember to mention the importance of the match. You can mention what happens once a team wins this match or if, if the team loses this match. You can also answer the question related to the players. So is the winner going to the finals? Reaching, is the winner reaching the finals? Or who was the best player and how was his performance? 
So these are the important details. Mention about the winner reaching to the finals or not. Or why not? Write about the best performance of the player or the best player in the match and his performance that helped the team win. He can also mention does the home team have its best player injured? Was the team affected? Mention everything that you think is important to the match. So all this you need to do is mention. Now while writing a commentary, always remember you should never use past tense. Since it's live, so don't use past tense. So we have a football commentary in our text, so let's read it out. The defender is back on and play will resume. We will have four minutes of added time when Deepak gets off the pitch. Sankar is coming on for cameo appearance as Rajendra makes way. Chance. Janardhan does well on the wing as his corner falls to Sri who gets his shot away at the second attempt but he can't get enough of it and Bhishmaharjan saves easily. We haven't seen much from Ashish this half but he suddenly sprints into the box after taking the ball from Om. but there are no takers in the middle. Seconds later, Milan takes matter into his own hands and shots from range but Dawa turns it behind a corner. Ashish's ball in is cleared. Another wasted free kick from the home side as Rajendra fires over. So you can notice that here are so many details and also we've been reminding, the text has been reminding us about the timing. So we will have four minutes of added time when Deepak gets off the pitch. So this is reminding us, this is giving us details. And Sankar is coming on for cameo appearance. Why is he coming for a cameo appearance? Because Rajendra makes way, so it's a chance. So in this way, you can write a commentary. Next, we have a very simple and small grammar exercise where we need to use the appropriate form of the verb that's given in the bracket. Manila got the office early in the morning. Eight hours later, she's still there. Now we need to use a correct form of the verb work in this blank and complete the sentence. Now since the event happened in past, that is Malina got to the office early. Now this is a past form as we're talking about the morning. And eight hours later, she's still there. Now we are in the present. So since the past and present is connected, an event occurred in past and is still continuing in the present, we use has been. So Malina has been working for eight hours. The next question is, Raj Narayan and Neha. Raj Narayan rang Neha 30 minutes ago. They are still on phone. Now this is similar to the previous one. Raj Narayan did something in the past. That is he rang Neha. When? 30 minutes ago. So this event is happening in the past. And they are still on phone. So right now in the present, the event that occurred in past is still continuing. So we have Raj Narayan and Neha have been talking for 30 minutes. The verb that we needed to use in this sentence was talk. And so we use talk as have been talking. Now you can notice Molina has been working and Raj Narayan and Neha have been talking. Why? Since Molina is a singular noun, we use has. And because here two people are involved, that is, this is the plural, this, this demands us for a plural verb. So Raj Narayan and Neha have been talking for 30 minutes. The next question is, Ruby was cutting vegetables, they are ready to cook now. Now this means that Ruby was cutting vegetables and the event or the action of cutting vegetables is now over as the vegetables are already cut and they are ready to cook now. So Ruby cut the vegetables. So the past form for cut is cut and hence we use Ruby cut the vegetables. So in this case, the verb given in the bracket is the appropriate one. So Shmita walked to school an hour ago. She is at school now. So this event of Sushmita walking to school occurred in the past and is now over. So Sushmita arrived now. 
So the correct form of verb for arrive will be Sushmita has arrived now. And the last question is Agreem entered the examination hall three hours ago. He is still inside. Now this is similar to the first two questions that we solved just now. That is the event that Agreem has entered the examination hall happened in past but that's still affecting the present because he is still inside. So we can say Agreem has been solving the problems for three hours. So here we come to the end of this class. The homework for today's class is to write a sport commentary. You can choose, you can pick any one sport and then continue to write the commentary. Remember not to use past tense. Don't use past tense. This is all for today's class. If you have any questions, any suggestions or anything that you wish to share with us, please feel free to write to us at learning at Thanks for watching.